Apparently, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is so offensive that people can't agree on what is the most offensive part of it. I have an article here from Showbiz Cheat Sheet. The most offensive moment of Tim Burton's Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Written by Matthew Trzinski, I think. Anyway, whatever. They're talking about it's one of his, you know, the original is one of Tim Burton's most beloved movies. He made a mistake or two with the original film that could have been corrected in the sequel. Instead, he doubled down on some material that was problematic in the first place. Here's a look at what was going through the Batman director's head when he returned to the afterlife for one more go-round. Takes a Looney Tunes influence too far. But basically he's talking about, as it says here, not all of them work that well. For example, the titular ghost kisses some of the other characters without consent. Clearly this is meant to recall the similar actions of Looney Tunes icons like Pepe Le Pew and Bugs Bunny. After all, Michael Keaton's ghost is more or less a live-action cartoon creation. What was humorous about these scenes in 1948 or 1988 just doesn't land today. Today, these kissing gags are uncomfortable at best and disturbing at worst. They raise questions about the way women are treated in works of art made by men. In the new film, there's no consensual kissing. Instead, the ghost with the most discusses possessing a woman, having her do sexual things, and posting pictures of those acts online. Yikes. There's a lot of edginess in the new movie, including unnecessary gore and violence, but the sexism in a possession joke is, take, takes things a step too far. Well, first off, because he's a fucking villain, you idiot. He's supposed to be offensive. He's supposed to be that way. But anyway, and he goes on and blah, 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 and talks about, you know, it, there's a poor excuse for a moment of bold-faced misogyny and otherwise fun and inoffensive movie. I got a story here from ladbible.com. Tim Burton responds to claims that his movies are full of white people's Beetlejuice too hit with racist claims. His comments are actually from 2016 when he was talking about um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. But basically, they're talking about in the, the new movie, in the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Teen Astrodites boards the Soul Train. This is a bit of a reference to 70s musical variety TV show Soul Train, which celebrated R&B, hip-hop, and soul. Some users taking the X to claim the scene was so unnecessarily racist and confusing. But racist as hell, as one person put. I'm glad people are calling out Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice for its racist depiction of black people. The only time black people are in the movie is for a Soul Train joke. Further adding that they still thought that the movie was good. Then it goes on and talks about... You know, another person said, it's in your face and obvious. It felt suspicious under the surface. And then he gets into his comments from, uh, I had mentioned before, you know, he's basically talking, you know, talking about, you know, I remember back when I was a child watching the Brady Bunch and they started to get all politically correct. Like, okay, let's have an Asian child and a black. I used to get more offended by that than just, I grew up watching black exploitation movies, right? I said, that's great. I didn't go like, okay, there should be more white people in these movies. That's the end of the article. They contacted his rep for comment, no comment. But it's like, apparently the movie is so offensive that they can't figure out what is the most offensive. Is it the in-your-face misogyny? Is it the racism? We don't know. Maybe it's both. You know, like people like this, it's like, first off, Beetlejuice is supposed to be the bad guy. He's not a good guy. Like, he's not, he's not some, you know, oh, he's a little soft, fluffy, you know, inoffensive type. Who's here to, you know, do little cartoon gags and stuff. He's supposed to be, uh, you know, evil. He's supposed to be a villain, basically. And there's even a part here where they talk about, um, let's get the exact quote. Yeah, he's like, I think, you know, Michael Keaton and I both love the fact that he was politically incorrect then and he's politically incorrect now. But, you know, he added laughs. I'm just laughing because somebody asked him the other day, Michael, how does Bill Juice's character evolve? And we just started laughing because he doesn't evolve. That's the whole point. You know, and that's the thing. It's like he's not supposed to evolve. That's that's the the gig. That's the gag. That's the gig. That's the, you know however you want to phrase. It. That's the job. That's part of it. But it's just it's just absurd. Like people are gonna get offended by everything. So there's there, now I will say that so far Tim has done the right thing because you don't bow down to the mob. You don't oh oh throw yourself and you know at the uh, beg for mercy and all that kind of crap. That's that's never the way to do it. Stick to your guns, and they'll just move on. Anyway, I'm gonna I'll, I'll link both this stuff in the description box and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. But thank you very much for watching and.